My surroundings whirled sickeningly, and I found myself transported safely away from the ambush to an adjacent chamber. Janos had delivered me from the Seraphan, selflessly forfeiting his own safety to preserve my life. And now I feared that my newfound mentor would be slaughtered by the very Crusaders I had so recently revered. The irony pierced me, and with dawning horror, I realized that I had been duped by Mobius from the beginning, for the Seraphim had simply followed the path I gullibly blazed through this sanctuary, and had arrived bearing Mobius' staff. Thus armed, they had Janos at their mercy. Through the door, I could hear them battling, less than a dozen paces away. It may as well have been a thousand miles, but this barrier was sealed by elemental forces I did not possess. It seemed Janos had conveyed me into the heart of the Fire Shrine. I thought perhaps if I could galvanize the forge and imbue the Reaver in time, I might have a slim chance of saving Janos from his grisly fate.
Plunge the Reaver into that furnace and forge the blade with elemental fire. With the Reaver thus imbued, I was now armed to unlock the elemental barrier and rescue Janos from his executioners. Alive! Raziel, we must get out of here! Remember the sword! Forgive me. I'm sorry. I failed you. Perhaps this was my true purpose. Simply to save your life this once. While I have taken yours. Embrace your destiny, Raziel. You must reclaim the river. It was forged for you and you alone. Without it, there is no hope. As I backed away from Janos's body, I was overwhelmed by a sense of self-loathing so deep I could barely contain it. In that instant, I rejected all that I ever was, and embraced the role Janos had safeguarded for me so patiently throughout the centuries. I knew then what I had to do, the task for which I was uniquely prepared. I would pursue the Seraphim dogs to their loathsome fortress and avenge Janos Ordrin's murder. Mobius would pay dearly for his treachery, and my Seraphim brethren would reap the horrors they had sown. I would retake the stolen Reaver, which was rightfully mine. And finally, when all these debts had been paid, I would reclaim Janos Ordrin's heart from their filthy, unworthy hands. If the heart was truly imbued with the power to restore vampiric unlife, its highest purpose was clear to me. I would restore the heart to Janos, and thus undo the vile crime committed by my abominable former self. These demonic pests were not merely the product of Nosgoth's corrupted future, for here they were, hurtling back over five centuries to pursue me. These creatures, I suspected, were minions of the unseen forces that had hoped to control me. This was the tangible expression of their displeasure. These demons were unleashed as the penalty for my disobedience.
Noskov. Let me enlighten you, poor Raziel. Mm-hmm. <sighs>